Hey, what's up guys? Flick here and welcome back to another episode of Donovan's Road to the U.S. Men's National Team. First off, I want to thank you guys for the feedback that you left on the previous episode of this series, letting me know that you're interested in seeing this series twice a week on the channel. And that's what I'm going to try to do for you guys, getting this series up twice a week and that way we can progress through the series nicely. As things stand right now, we've only got one non-rare bronze to upgrade our left back and after that we can start upgrading to non-rare silver players and get to that silver tier of this series. Let's hop into our first match, try to get a win and see some silver appearances in this team. Our first opponent for today had a Syria and Russian League hybrid. A lot of pacey players in there. They got Mertens, they got Dumbia, so we need to watch out for that. And I will tell you guys right here from the start, this game was a bit laggy. You guys should be able to tell by some of those frames dropping. And my opponent had a pretty good start to the game. Dumbia plays the ball out wide, and we just couldn't seem to get the ball taken off him. Plays it across to Dumbia. And a sweaty goal for a fairly sweaty team. He gets the first goal of the match, makes it 1-0. But here's Donovan outside the box. Last episode, I was talking about him scoring a long shot. And there it is with his left boot. Nice finish right there. And despite the lag, we were still competing and trying to get the win in this match. Pushing on, though, we're going to get another opportunity here at the left mid. We're going to play it inside to Zavaleta. He's pushing up the pitch. And now it's going to fall to Heinemann. He plays it through. Some fantastic passing from the team. And Gull wants to get on the action. There it is. Off the post and in. Makes it 2-1. to one. And, you know, early on using him, he didn't have the best finishing. But he's really stepped it up since then. And here's Jameson again finding Heinemann. A chance to make it 3. And this time Heinemann with a major miss. Maybe some of that could be attributed to the lag. But still, I think Heinemann should have gotten that one on target. And there my opponent just completely whiffs on a, a header. And Donovan's going to go through. Gets fouled inside the box. It's going to be a penalty kick for us. And of course, you guys know who's going to be taking it. It's Landon Donovan. I was very nervous because of the lag. Afraid I would miss this one badly. Luckily, he goes in the wrong direction. Had he stayed middle, probably would have saved that one. But regardless, it was 3-1 to one at that point. And I don't really know what my opponent was doing right here. Just off kickoff, he basically passes the ball to me. We're going to play through to Donovan, and he's going to go with the easy finesse shot. He's not going to miss from there. Donovan's finesse shot is deadly. You guys know that from the last couple episodes. And at this point, we could basically just sit back, pass the ball around, and try to wait for the perfect opportunity. Looked like we were going to get through on goal once again. He gets a nice block, pauses the game. And you guys might be able to guess what's going to happen. He does decide to quit in the second half. So a good win for this for us there. 4-1. to one. Couple of goals from Donovan, which should lead to quite a few upgrades. Lots of players getting in on the assists. And mostly Donovan scoring the goals. So we're going to be able to check out the upgrades now. Because we got a rage quit and Donovan contributed to three of the goals in the 4-1 to win, we're going to get the maximum of five upgrades. Getting right into the upgrades, of course, we got to upgrade our left back first to complete the full rare bronze team. And we're going to go back to the Sounders player. Remick's going to get into the team, and we're going to get back to the 84 pace right there. And next, we're going to start upgrading from the back. Perk was a good player for this team, but let's be honest, we need to upgrade this goalkeeper position as quickly as possible. I was debating between Clark and Robles, decide to go for Clark because he has slightly better stats. And should be a nice little upgrade there. Next up, we're going to be going to the left mid position. And this guy, I'm really excited to start using him. I believe you pronounce his name Yetgets or maybe it's Letget. Let me know down in the comment section if you're an LA Galaxy fan. But 71 pace on him, 75 dribbling. And that's not it. He does have 4-star skills and 4-star weak foot, high medium work rates. I think he's going to be able to score a lot of skillful goals for us. Next up, we're going to the center attacking mid. Hyman was all right for us, scored some pretty nice, tenacious goals, but we got to upgrade, and it's one of the crucial players, the center attacking made it in this formation. So I went with Chip, 74 pace, 70 passing, 72 dribbling, pretty nice for a 69 rated player, get him into the team, and to round things out, we're going to be upgrading our striker position from Jameson the fourth, and this one was suggested by Chalupa Wana. We're going to go on to Davies, 78 pace on him, 67 shot. And the story behind this guy is pretty cool. So if you haven't yet, look it up. And it's a pretty cool story. I would recommend reading that. So right now we've got about a half silver, half bronze team. Let's get right into our next game. Hopefully get some more upgrades. Our next opponent had what looked to be a Premier League side mixed in with a random Oblock as well as Mustafi. Not sure if he had to do that due to a lack of coins or whether he had players sent off for a red card. But he had a pretty clear cut strategy. Trying to feed the ball into Giroud. 
whether that be on the header or whether that be on the ground as he does right here. Schneiderlin finds Drood. He's going to tuck that one away really nicely. Not going to take anything away from that finish. He put it away where the keeper wasn't and had the early lead. So again, we're down 1-0 early on. This time, we're trying to come back quickly. And Gaul is going to have an opportunity to cross this one into the box. Couple of fake shots to draw the defender over. No foul given on that tackle, but we're going to win it right back. It's Jimenez. Finds Davies. Looking to make an impact in his first game. And I was feeling confident with this silver team but it was Acosta who after the shot was taken down and of course that's gonna be a penalty kick for us Donovan's gonna take it he sticks it to the left it's gonna be tied up 1-1 the 33rd minute penalty kicks really seem to have been the way forward for us especially when we've conceded early they've really saved us right after kickoff not sure what he was doing slide tackling all over the place but we're just gonna do some calm passing ship's gonna get through he's gonna square it across and that's an easy finish just minutes after scoring our first goal we're gonna make it two to one and we were in the driver's seat at this point here just before halftime he was pushing forward trying to tie things up really not sure how we didn't get the ball back there I felt like I defended that fairly well, but I believe that was Jesus Navas who tucked that one away, tying it up just before halftime, and a fairly even half for both sides, four shots on target for each of us, and relatively equal possession. But the second half, the first opportunity was for him. Why didn't my keeper move back in time? I was trying to draw him out to chip it, and I do that all the time, but I guess with these lower rated keepers, they're not able to backpedal it quite as quickly. And unfortunately, it meant us conceding once again. Here, Davies, fantastic opportunity. He squares across to Donovan, try to get a little bit sweaty. Donovan hits the post. Davies on the rebound, nearly scored by just hitting it in. But unlucky for us not to score right there. Still 3-2, trying to get a goal, and Oblock was having the game of his life. Here it falls to Acosta, gets through once again, and again, it's blocked. We just couldn't seem to break down his defense despite getting some pretty clear opportunities. But regardless, we get a corner kick. Ship's going to try to draw the defender, gets inside the box, and once again, the slide tackles by him. He was a reckless defender, and that's the second penalty kick he's conceded. Donovan's going to take it again. This time, we're going to go off to the right. He goes off to the left, and that means it's tied up 3-3 three to three in the 71st minute, and I was looking to get the win. I felt like I played better than this guy throughout the game. And here we win a good header, get by his players, and just a reckless challenge. He's going to be sent off for that one, and it was a pretty clear-cut opportunity. I was pretty mad at the point because had he been able to get past him, it was a one-on-one -on -one chance with the keeper, and I felt like we weren't going to be able to get another chance in this game. But Jimenez with a, uh, just a clutch steal, and he finds Acosta. Acosta's going to stick it home, and that was payback for him to sign to a slide tackle at a time where he really shouldn't, and <laughs> I was watching all the replays at this point. I wanted to rub it in. I'm usually not that kind of player, but against this kind of opponent, I was really savoring that victory. We dominated in the stats. Donovan got two goals, and we deserved that win. Let's check out the upgrades. All I have to say about that last game is my opponent got what he deserved by playing dirty. We got the 43 win. Donovan contributed two goals, meaning we're going to get two upgrades going into the next match. And starting from the back, we're going to be upgrading Watts on up to a silver center back. I wanted to get a little bit more pace into the team. And we're going to do just that by upgrading to this non-rare silver player. Adu, 71 pace, 73 defending, 78 physical. Looks like a tank. And I cannot wait to use him in the back. Honestly, him partnered up with Zavaleta, they're going to be unstoppable. Great physical stats on them. We're also going to be upgrading our right mid from Gaul. And I think you guys can guess who it's going to be that we're upgrading to. It's going to be the World Cup goal scorer, Julian Green. Really excited to fit him into this team. 77 pace on him and 73 dribbling. Looks like a pretty decent card this year. The Silver Squad is nearing completion. Let's get into our final match of the episode and try to complete this team. Our final opponent had a pretty cool looking team, some silver, gold, and informed players mixed in there. Mostly a La Liga side with Hector Bellerin mixed in there, and no shame in using that one, and now that he is an upgraded card, we get pretty lucky to win the ball back in the middle, and Ship plays it through. It's going to be Davies, who puts that one on the far corner, fantastic finish, and he's a nice little player for a non-rare silver, shout out to Chalupawana for suggesting him, uh, but our keeper was playing out of his mind in this game. I'll have to say that the difference between a silver goalkeeper and a bronze goalkeeper, it's huge. And I think it, you can notice the difference more so than any other position uh, because they make such fewer mistakes. And our team was just playing so well, whether it be defensively, we're also on attack here. We're trying to make it 2-0. And we're going to cross it in the yet get. Not sure what he's doing in the middle. Unfortunately, he was off sides. That could have put the game to bed pretty much, making it 2-0. 
and I would have played a lot more defensively, especially after losing in the previous episode after I was up 3-0 or something along the lines of that. Uh, but I have tried to learn my lessons. He's going to push on the second half, plays a really nice through ball, and Isco puts that one away. A deserved goal. Uh, this guy was playing pretty well, and he was unlucky not to have scored in the first half, but at this point, we kind of collapsed. I'm not going to lie. Sergio Roberto again played it through, and he figured out my weakness in playing those through balls. And he makes it 2-1 to one right there in 65th minute. I was going ultra attacking at this point. I still felt like we could have won the game. Uh, but I put way too many people forward and he really noticed that. Getting on the counterattack, attack is going to make it 3 right here with the sweat. And Christian Tello makes it 3. And unfortunately we get another conceded goal making it 4-1. to one. And ultimately that is the final scoreline. I pushed up way too far and as a result we conceded way too many goals. Which means we're going to have to downgrade some players. Let's get into that. And we're also going to be basing the downgrades on the lowest rated players. Well guys, it was only a matter of time before I got absolutely thrashed by an opponent. And that guy just completely outplayed me. We lose that one 4-1. to one. That means we're going to have to downgrade three players. And you guys left a good suggestion a couple of episodes ago saying we should downgrade the players with the lowest match rating. And one of those players was our right center back, unfortunately. I was excited to upgrade to Edu, but we're going to have to go back down to Watts. Who, let's be honest, he kind of served our purpose, so it's not too bad of a downgrade. But still, you never want to go from silver to bronze. We're going to have to do that for two more position. Julian Green, another player that's going to get downgraded. I'm just glad it's not our strikers because I was really happy with how our strikers played in this first game uh, that I used them. So we're going to downgrade to Gull. And then on the opposite side, we're also going to have to downgrade Yet Get. And he is going to be downgraded on over to Ari Yibi. So we still got a couple of good players mixed in. I hope that we can continue to get some upgrades in the next episode and not lose any matches. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Donovan's Road to the U.S. Men's National Team. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And until next time, this has been Flick. I'll be talking to you guys again soon.